Hey everyone, it's Clint from Canadian Cannabis Culture, back with another review. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, we're looking at uh, Point Break today by Quest. And this one here is sitting at 24.5% THC, 0.07% CBD. Quest's singular focus is to deliver their customers' cannabis experiences beyond the ordinary. Quest has a lot of interesting uh, exotic flavors, strains. Um, I'm really excited to try them all. You should check out their website. Uh, there's, a, there's too many to kind of name right now, but um, I'd say they're leading uh, in that category uh, with Citizen Stash and uh, Gage following close behind. So Point Break was a really interesting one to me. I'm really intrigued by this one. It's a high THC hybrid. Point Break is, a, um, is an indica dominant hybrid bred by crossing Tropicana Cookies and Trophy Wife. So Tropicana Cookies is a cross of Girl Scout Cookies and Tangy, and uh, Trophy Wife is a cross of Triangle Kush and Animal Cookies. So there's a lot there. Okay, so Point Break is said to feature a complex terpene profile, which offers a creamy orange taste and flavors from fuel to oranges on the exhale. Uh, Quest is a small batch. Uh, they hang dry and hand trim. All plants are nourished by glacier mountain water, which runs naturally through Quest's cannabis estate. The water happens to be perfectly pH balanced uh, to the level cannabis thrives on. Uh, Quest Cannabis is located in Creston Valley in the Kootenai region of BC, uh, British Columbia. And if you're looking to invest, uh, the parent company for Quest is a Decibel Cannabis Company, which we'll have on the screen. Okay, so right away, uh, Quest um, I recommend getting rid of the box, which is too much packaging, uh, although it looks really nice. Flower Corp, Houseplant, and um, a couple other companies have, uh, have done the same. Okay, let's have a look at it here. I just want to mention the price point because it is, it's, uh, it is a little bit more expensive. This is a part of Quest's reserve, um, reserve category. Uh, so this one I believe was like $62.99 for, for an eighth. Expecting big things. Okay, uh, let's have a look at it here. Really nice jars. Oh, and this one was packaged on um, June 26th. So, pretty fresh. Smells really good right away. There's a Integra Boost pack in here, so that's nice to see. First time uh, buying any anything from uh, from Quest. Definitely has a very pungent smell. Okay, we'll get you guys a good look at that. So now that we've learned a little bit about uh, Point Break by Quest, the last thing I got to do is um, test it out for the rating. So I'll go do that, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, after uh, trying out the uh, Point Break by Quest, um, I'm extremely impressed by them. Uh, to be honest, at first I was kind of avoiding this brand just because of the price point, but now I understand uh, why, why it's uh, at where it's at. And uh, I can't wait to try all the rest of their strains. They've got, uh, they've got their own Mac 1, so I kind of want to see if it matches up with the like, Citizen Stash. 
Um, they've got a couple of gelatos. Uh, Oregon lemon sounds interesting. Um, Gorilla Glue, Cushman's Wedding Cake, I'm really interested to try. Yeah, so uh, really, really impressed with these guys. I think this is going to be my new favorite strain on the uh, LP market. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, it basically tastes like a, a wedding cake crossed with a, like a Girl Scout cookies. And like it literally tastes like one of those uh, chocolate oranges that you get at like Christmas time. Uh, so the burn on this was really, really, really good. Had a good ash. Uh, it wasn't super light, but the, it, it was good. Uh, it was really, really smooth. Uh, the effects on it were, were great. Um, really hard hitting for, for how smooth it was. And, and the taste on it, again, is amazing. It, it just tastes like a, like a chocolate orange. Um, so I'm going to rate this one a 9.6 out of 10. Till next time, guys.